start this off with a public service announcement. YouTube has my channel shadow banned, which means that they have limited my scope and reach, intentionally decreasing my exposure to connect with the public. Now, this is how they discourage content creators from speaking on certain subjects in an attempt to manufacture consent and influence or manipulate the direction of the social narrative. But after I get done with this video, I don't see that ban lifting anytime soon. So be sure to combat these restrictive regulatory measures by hitting the like button, sharing, and commenting in the comment section in order to release the chokehold administered by YouTube's unjust algorithm. Now, let's get into this. Believe all women. Who knew that truth serum was naturally formed within the walls of the female reproductive system? Oh yeah, that hot box of funky monkey wonder is the source of all things truth and righteous. There is absolutely no chance of treachery or deception in them, for it has been written in the book of fallacy for fellas that all women are to be believed. No due process, no matter, no exception. Believe them. Which any logical person might, you know, they might have this inquiry. If this is the case, that all women are to be believed, then how pointless of a task would it be for a judge to officiate over a case involving a woman plaintiff and a woman defendant? <laughs> well, I believe both of you. God, why'd you have to make it so hard? I believe all women, and now I have two women that are suing each other. How is this possible? Innocent, I tell you. You are both innocent. <laughs> Shout out to Cardi B and Tasha K for disproving this nonsensical notion. See, believe all women. By default logic pertaining to gender, this suggests that all men are to be disbelieved. All men are therefore guilty by the court of public opinion. And believe it or not, this slogan has been in practice long before it became a catchphrase. The only ones that were immune to its tyrannical tendencies typically were the rich and influential. Here are some examples of believing all women. Kevin is not the father. Now hold on for your research, player. Sir, you are not the father. And in the case of Seven Week Old Paradise, Damien, you are not the father. <laughs> Brian, you are not the father. Andre, you are not <laughs> You are not <laughs> You are not <laughs> You are not the father. You are not. You are not. Oh, Elijah, Lorenzo, you are not. The Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. That's right. Who's the biggest liars? Men or women? Men lie the most, women tell the biggest lies. Yeah. You know what a man's lies like? A man's lies like, I'm at, I was at Tony's house. I'm at Kenny's house. That's a man's lie. A woman's lie is like, it's your baby. Had it not been for scientific advancements, these promiscuous prevaricators would never be exposed. You think women just started doing this? Yeah. And I have a five o'clock dinner date with Cleopatra to discuss investing in a beachside resort next to the Pyramid of Khufu. Believe all women. You can't pretend like this is some sort of historical correction due to a systemic oppression of women, where a man's account of events was automatically accepted and a woman's account was automatically disbelieved. This would be a gross misrepresentation of history. But as with many people that lead the life of normalcy or mundanity, hero worship, which is arguably counterproductive within itself. This has a contrapositive associate on the same spectrum. 
This associate is called vicarious victim viewing arbitrarily applicable foregoing context despite disproportionate occurrences which render the outcome of antithetical evidence to the asserted claim of universal inexorable conclusions by virtue of specified set variables enacting within a specified set of circumstances. Or, in other words, acting like the rules apply to everyone. Acting like everyone was a victim by the measures that you set your argument upon. All men are historically, historically believed over all women. Yeah. Regular folk will build a blanketed universal movement based upon the discrepancies or the injustices or allegations occurring within the exclusive members only clubhouse of the super rich elite and influential in power. Then seek to subject society to legislation wrought from the collection of conflating societal circumstances. For instance, using the practices which exist in Saudi Arabia to justify myopic legislation in America. The disingenuous amongst these propaganda promulgators would they intentionally avoid the entirety of the historical record, only citing half truths and selective incidents. And with good reason, because acknowledging the historical record in its entirety would amputate the legs from underneath that movement, leaving it with nothing to stand on. See, now, should we not just pretend like men have been believed by virtue of being men and women were disbelieved by virtue of their sitting down to pee? See, Emmett Till, 14 years old, some would say, oh, that's not a man. Well, we're talking about men, not boys. Yeah, but I beg to differ. You think that 12 year old Tamir Rice who was shot and killed by a police officer with no question or warning was the first black child to be regarded as a fully grown man upon initial contact with a trigger happy trooper? No. So let's move on. This 14 year old black American senior citizen by the name of Emmett Till certainly didn't benefit from this chimerical assertion that men have had a historical advantage when their account of events is in conflict with their woman accusers. The, his recollection of events was not upheld in value by virtue of semen sackage possession. How about Tulsa, Oklahoma? If history makes you queasy and truth comes uneasy, anything to disbelieve me, be a guest and kiss my so let's continue. A 19 year old black grandpa by the name of Dick Rowland was accused of assaulting a 17 year old white infant baby girl by the name of Sarah Page. See, this certainly is not evidence that all men have benefited from this notion of believing men over women. In fact, the accusations levied by that woman was enough to arouse a mob and launch a fleet of airplanes to decimate an entire city district. So at the least, we know that historically, women have had the power to merely mention the word. They have always had access to that little device, the, in case of emergency, break glass after which opened the floodgates of actions often executed by men in the form of vigilante vengeance, which bore down on entire communities, leaving multitudes of lifeless bodies in its wake. A weapon that has been utilized by many women that use the zeal of men to do their dirty work, then they play dumb after the deed is done in their name. The question is, are you one of these women that has had historical access to this malignant militia by mere virtue of being a woman. Or perhaps there's another factor that excludes you if the answer is no. See, as a father of daughters, I dread even to hypothetically envisage a set of circumstances where they're violated, where my daughters are violated. So as fathers, we should equip our daughters with the knowledge of 
avoiding these circumstances which can create the opportunities for violation to commence. I say violation in place of the R word. Nah. Like going on a, a yacht. Let's say you go on a yacht belonging to someone named uh, Puff Daddy. You know, to meet up with an entertainer named, what's a random name? Uh, Chris Brown. Some guy that you only know from music videos. All while you're dressed in a two-piece bikini and getting drunk and high. Yeah, but it's hard to protect the daughters that don't listen to their fathers. And even furthermore, it's harder to protect our sons from a jilted woman who understands just how historically easy it is to levy readily believed assault accusations against a man. Furthermore, a black man. Furthermore, a black man with an already checkered past. Furthermore, a checkered past involving multiple accusations involving women. Oh, but thank God for receipts believe all women yeah it just so happens that this believable woman was an unbelievably persistent chris brown meat missile stalking liar if chris brown would have lost the phone i mean it, if iphone didn't have a cloud that stored all of your personal messages for the purposes of government surveillance i mean who knows easily another one bites the dust you know this man was able to produce text messages which exposed her out to be a liar you know easily could have been another one bites the dust or at the very least has to cough up a hefty settlement check to make the problem go away just like the dna tests thanks once again to the advancements in technology that expose these believable women. Just like there are women who should be believed, there are women who should not be believed at the mere accusation. And those who willfully ignore the historical record are willfully ignorant to ramifications of their dissonance. That the end of the day, as it has always been historically, it will ultimately be men that execute the justice sought out by women. Like it or leave it alone, it has always been this way. When Maya Angelou was violated, who do you think was consumed with the level of zeal that sought and manifested the execution of her assailant? Oh yes, you know it. Women know this. They are not dumb. They understand that there is a built-in mechanism that prompts men to protect them, as women have a mechanism that prompts them to protect children. But what of the woman who abuses her unbridled access to this collective protective mechanism in men? What of the countless instances where women abuse this primal symbiotic contract? What happens when Every lying, deceitful, scorned, and treacherous woman is rendered innocent. And the very men who are the universal protectors of civilization and the ultimate executors of justice find that they are the unwitting patrons of potential impending victimhood within a system whose only existence is contributed to the mere fact that men allow it. This is something to think about. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. This is a conversation starter. Say what you think in the comment section. Till next time, it's Intrigue Dynamite. I'm out.